Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. This is a special video I am creating today for one of the feature released in December 2020 release that is small multiples. This feature was awaited for long. So let us see how to use it. To use this preview feature, first of all, we have to go to the files, options and setting in options and setting option and then we will get a pop up here in the pop up you have in the global go to the preview feature and in the preview feature enable small multiples this would be unchecked like this and then you have to check it like this and press ok power bi will ask you to restart your desktop application so you have to close all the instances of desktop application and start again press ok in my case because i have already done that step i am pressing the cancel button now I have created a data model. I'll just give you a brief of that. I have a sales table joined with geography and customer and this is perfect one to many relationship. Again, it is joined with item and then I have a date table and my uh, date uh, table is joined with the sales date. All of these are perfectly one to many and the, this is in star schema, the ideal model you can have. Now let's start. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a um, clustered column visual. And in the cluster column visual, the first thing which I'm going to do, let me make it a bit larger because I'm planning to use uh, small multiples. So I'm going to create it on item. In item, I'm going to take brand and I'm going to take sales. So I have in the sales, I have quantity. So I'm going to take quantity as value. So I have taken this brand and then I have created this. Now, if I scroll down, you see this small multiple options. So what I'm going to do and first time I am going to use category and then later what we will change and play around because we have much more options available here. So from here itself, I take category. And I have five categories available. You will see by default there are options. It is going to create a two by two matrix out here and so category one category two category three category four you can see the brand is not appearing here below and similarly you are seeing uh, uh, that you know this access is getting repeated and this is you know multi access which we are talking about and then we have a few more play arounds which you can actually go ahead and do and make the kind of visual you are looking at so let's go ahead and do those so let's go to the property first of all and in the properties if i go i, I have this small multiple title where i can go ahead and put small multiple title above and below. So they, right now, if you see category is coming on top, you can go ahead and make it on bottom. Okay, so the category one, category two, category three now are coming on bottom. Now grid layout. Now grid layout is very important. Let me make it as one row. Now you can see that, you know, category one and category two. So they are side by side. Remember, we many times you might have asked like, I want this Y axis to remain, but X axis to repeat one option. Now I'm going to make row as two and I'm going to make column as one. Another option you have asked many times, let the uh, axis repeat, but I want this uh, uh, Y axis to repeat, but X axis don't repeat. That option is there. But you have to remember one thing, you are not allowed to plot something else here. I'm also plotting quantity here. I'm also plotting quantity here. So if you plan to, uh, let's say if you want it quantity here and sales here, that's not the option. But yes, if you're plotting quantity and this is, brand uh, two of the categories category one and category two are plotting so these options you can play around now i can even make it as a three by three matrix okay so as i only have five categories i am not having so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to change it i'm going to remove small multiples from here and i'm going to put city because i have a lot of cities with me so from geography i'm going to put city into the small multiple and you can see three by three matrix with lot much information and there is a scroll down means whatever cities are available they are going to come down now i have this three by three matrix now things do not stop here there are other visuals where it is also supported so in the cluster itself but first of all we are going to do is in the category which we are going to uh, put the legends and we would like to see does it work with legend so it works with legend it do means that it should also be able to work with stacked visual so okay so stacked visual it is working okay uh, does it work with the line chart? Okay, it works with line chart, area chart. Again, we can see it's working with area chart, stacked area chart. Again, with stacked area chart. But the moment we say line stacked column chart or line clustered column chart, we see this option is not working. So that is where it is not supported. And once you go back to that visual and come back, you have to again go back and create this small um, um, multiple. Again, you have to create this uh, will be lost. So I'm going to add it again okay 
and skimming some error let me do one thing because legends i have used the city i can't use so you cannot use something as legend which is already present in the small multiple i am going to create this as legend now so you can see so there so all your visuals like stacked bar visual stacked column clustered bar and all those other than your dual access uh, visuals most of the visuals which are there are supported so go ahead and try these out do let us know what else you wanted to know on this visual uh, thanks for watching this video subscribe to our channel press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you